Hi, I'm Helena, and I love rock and roll. In this day and age, not many other kids are into the same music. This makes me different because of that. I get teased and bullied, but even so, rock and roll is helping me cope, and it's encouraging me to try new stuff. It's even helping me get back into things I used to love. Let me explain. When I was younger, I loved to sing. I was in the school choir and plays. I would walk down the halls singing. I even sung in the shower. Singing was my escape. It was one place that made me happy. Once middle school came around, other kids started to make fun of me. I got teased, being told I was an effing singing princess, or that your singing sucks, or what's that crap you're singing? That's when I stopped singing. My parents noticed and tried to get me back into singing, but I was too embarrassed. I was done with singing. That was two years ago. Sometime last year, I discovered my rock and roll passion. My parents took my brother over to Guitar Center to sign him up for drum lessons. They tried to get me back into singing classes, but I refused. One of the coaches offered me a free guitar lesson. My parents were a bit hesitant, but I convinced them I would like to try. I fell in love. Seeing my newfound interest, my parents signed me up for guitar lessons and bought me a guitar. I figured this would also help me relate with other kids playing guitar. That was cool, right? It just got worse. At school, when I got back and started playing guitar, I thought I'd make a lot more friends at school because to me, rock and roll and guitar was cool. It started off with just name calling and then it went to cyberbullying, sexually harassed, and being threatened with physical harm. My parents have spent a lot of time trying to get the school engaged, but they put a blind eye to it. This is my dad. Hey. He can explain better. So when this all started, the school initially denied that there was any issue. So I took to a Facebook group, which these people then helped and the district decided to get involved then. After a few months of investigating, they came back and told me that her love for rock music and going to rock concerts and playing guitar set her apart from her fellow peers, which is why they reacted negatively toward her. My school counselor even made comments to my dad about how amazed they are with my good moral values when I listen to like the devil's music and music that talks about drugs, alcohol, and them with girls at a bar or something. Am I reliving the 80s? So I'm a big 80s rock fan, which many kids aren't into. I don't really fit in because of it. At first, really depressed me and I almost gave up my new passion in guitar. I thought maybe being a girl, I shouldn't be playing rock music on the guitar. But my parents were very supportive of me and my passion. My dad also showed me an article on how there were more than 50% of all new students who are picking up guitars and buying guitars are actually girls, mostly because of the Taylor Swift influence. Then came M3, an 80s rock hair band festival in Maryland. My dad thought I would enjoy it, so he flew all the way across the country to attend it. It was there that I saw Vixen take the stage for the first time. They were an all-women rock band, and they were really good. My guitar instructor was also playing at the festival, so he got us backstage passes. I was hanging out with my guitar instructor in his band, Kingdom Come. I told the drummer how I loved seeing a group of women playing rock. I never expected to see something like that. He dragged me over to the guitars for Vixen and I got to meet Britt. I was also introduced to the bass player for Lita Ford that day. I've been a huge fan of Lita's for a while now and she's been a major influence for me and I really relate to her in a big way. <laughs> she was in a band called The Runaways. It was an all-girl teenage rock band back in the 70s. They were told rock was no place for a bunch of teenage girls, but they stuck to it. They refused to be bullied by the industry for what they did, and eventually they became an amazing band. After M3, I was still coping with my confidence. Dealing with how me and my peers are to me really made me pretty sensitive to criticism. On my first live performance at the School of Rock program, I was so nervous that I didn't even smile. 
After the performance, a close extended family member of mine made a comment about how I didn't smile and that I needed to change my strumming technique. I don't remember anything positive said. It devastated me. I was in tears. I was ready to hang it up again. But my dad was there to support me and encouraged me to push forward, reminding me to ignore the negative comments. It was soon after that when I had an experience of a lifetime. My dad had signed me up for something called Fantasy Rock Camp, where this program we would practice with a band and then perform with world famous rock stars. I got to play with Lou Graham and Vince Neil and Joe Perry. This really encouraged me to keep learning and playing guitar. I even got a vocal coach again, since I want to try singing again. Someone even commented on Facebook about what a story I will have to tell people at school after summer is over. Sadly, this would be something I couldn't talk about. I'm scared that I'll just be picked on again for loving something that's different. Something even so simple like going shopping for a backpack. It just causes anxiety for me and makes me nervous about will I get teased or bullied for wearing this backpack, having this lunchbox, wearing these kind of clothes. Last year I had a backpack that had a band on the back of it and I almost felt like I was walking down the hallways with a backpack that had a kick me sign on the back of it. Sometimes I would just wish that summer was infinite and I didn't have to go back to school. My parents' support helps. My family friends' support helps. Therapy helps, but is it enough? How do I explain how this all feels? Being ashamed for being different. Someone asked me a simple question once that I had to think about for a long time. This is my friend, Shang. He's the producer of my channel. Hey. Hey. So, Helena? Yeah? What advice would you give to someone who's in the same spot as you are? Honestly, I don't know if I have any real advice. I am so lost trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do in middle school, where people are just telling me, act normal, try to fit in, go with the flow. I can't do that. I love listening to my music, just like how they love listening to theirs. I'm not gonna let those bullies bring me down anymore. I'm gonna keep shredding on my guitar and keep singing rock and roll. I'll try to keep remembering that I'm not alone. I'll keep sharing videos of my journey to those of you who cares to watch. I'll keep being mean. And I, get, I should give the eyebrows at the end.